Hello, this is Kiskalu, and welcome back to fighting these guys. It's Shovel Knight time! The Mad Blue. Okay. Mm, once again, I should do my shopping before I do that place. I still want this thing, and that should leave me with enough money to do this as well. I think you need 6,000 for this, so... Ah, house. My greatest passion. Nothing I enjoy more than the crisp snap of a well-tailored brim. With my vast riches, I could buy this whole store! But I forgot my wallet. Oh, upstanding knight! Could you part with that paltry 100 gold? Sure. Wow, thanks! I can't believe that worked! <laughs> Running out of customers, one by one. Hats are going! How shall I restock? I buy only the best! And for my latest purchase, unfortunately, I'm only 1,000 gold short! Excelsior! Now that I have my purchase, I shall take my leave! J -j just one more customer! Then there's no more hats! No more hats! Oh, must get more! More hats! Oh, such a charming barrette! If only I had the means to afford it! All I need is a mere thousand gold! Hurrah! This is just what I needed! Thank you, hero! My precious hats! That's a lovely helmet! So lovely! So lovely! I must inquire, sir, about your curious collection. Travel I am far and wide, I do. Searching, learning, teaching, collecting! All shapes, all sizes, hats! Each one I wear grants me a new power, and your hat looks awfully powerful indeed. Intriguing, but... I'm rather attached to my helmet. Yes, yes, about that. <laughs> oh, well. Unfortunately, you don't need to be good when you have OP damage power. Enough! I know not what came over me. My hunger for hats took control. Your beautiful hat. It's a helmet. Righto! I knew that! Wear it in good health. For now. Right, well... Off I go, then. 
Let's just, uh... Oh, father, you found me. I'm so embarrassed. I promise I'll pest you no longer. Here's some gold for all the trouble. Again. You're following me everywhere! Okay, okay, I will come back. Just take some more of my gold and leave me to my hats. I'm pretty sure you can find him a third time on the top of the blimp, but we cannot go up there yet, so we won't find him again. Oh well. Not a big deal. Hmm. I have more money than when I started. Oh well. I'll just have to not die. Sigh, there's no way to punch through. I wish I could just dash through all this dirt. Like this? Haha. The trick here is really to just not miss your beat. Because if you screw up, and it's actually pretty easy to screw up, uh, you will die. Uh, you know, let's, uh. There we are. Uh, right, this one's actually hard. Need, you actually need coordination for that one. Okie dokie. I think we'll do this now, right? Uh, yes, we will. Okay, I think this is a treasure fish, which is good, because I want to show this off. No, it's a travel. I totally forgot to- damn it, I still have the useless treasure thing. Oh well. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Okay, we're back from that small interruption. Hmm. Not really what I was going for there. Ah, wait a second. There we are. Okay, these guys, we cannot hurt. I think we can bounce on them? I think. But, they're just mobile obstacles, is what they are.
Okay, now we're starting to get into the spikes. So, this is something I actually want to talk about, because this is pretty much- this is a big part of what I was thinking of when I was playing, um, when I was playing my number nine, the other day for me, over a month ago for you. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's terrific. Um, there's a whole lot of things that instantly kill you in Mighty Number no. 9. There's a lot of things that do that in Shovel Knight as well. In Mighty Number no. 9, I struggle to think... Outside of a couple bosses, I never died from anything other than an instant kill. Many of them were very poorly uh, designed, to put it lightly. Show Knight still has those mechanics, though. Okay, this looks like what I was looking for earlier with the fishing. Fish! It's... We're, we're underwater, so it's still alive. Um, what was I saying about... Right. The... A whole lot of instant death traps in Mighty Number no. 9 are fucking terrible. Uh, Shovel Knight's not perfect, as this situation sort of illustrates, but it's a hell of a lot better. I was really struggling with that. Uh, these guys. Hmm. Uh, okay, that was close. Good thing we're underwater. Here's the thing, though. The re most of the really bad death traps in Shovel Knight are in areas like this, where there are ways to get around it. Like, we're underwater, which means we fall more slowly and we jump more high. Their traps, in fact, designed around the fact that we jump higher than normal. And I think that's a good thing. Like, well, ish. In general, I'm not a huge fan of instant death. But, but I think it's well designed, is what I mean to say. More than I can say for Mighty Number no. Nine, <laughs> for sure. Hmm. I could seek and break this part. I've done it before, but it's it's safer to not. Um. <laughs> yeah. Try to keep basically suicide deaths to a minimum. I think is a good call. Uh, to which effect, we will definitely not be smashing this save point. Okay, that sucks. I'm thinking Treasure Magnet to recover that.
Also, definitely gonna just keep bouncing this time. Okay, that did not work. Well, there goes all my treasure. <laughs> It was wise indeed to to you keep that safe point. This is probably the mini boss that has killed me the most. Just throwing that out there. Oh man, I'm not gonna get all that treasure back. <coughs> Well then... Two out of three isn't too bad. And Chester still somehow managed to get inside of there. Haven't had a ride like that in ages! I think I'm gonna be sick. Yes, give me the damn anchors. This is one of the more useful ones for a couple places. Anyway, uh, yes, I don't- I never want to have to fight that fish again. I will have to, but I don't want to. the right button the first time I would have survived. <sighs> oh well. What are you gonna do other than, you know, not die, I suppose. I mean, I was sort of playing bad before, for being honest, but worse any I'm playing worse now. Right, here's what I'm gonna do here. Uh that's not actually what I meant to do. I guess it worked. Okay. 
Okay. Now, let's get this just right. No, that wasn't just right. Close enough, I suppose. <laughs> Right, I have no confidence in myself to not die right now, so... So we're gonna play this one safe. Okay, made it here. I could kill these guys, but... But, like... Why even bother? <laughs> Again. Okay, in fair in some small fairness to me, this is legitimately probably my worst level. In less fairness to me, I'm still dying an awful lot. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna leave this level with less money than I went in with. <sighs> I'm over here where I can actually hit you, please. Looks like a job for. The fishing rod. Okay. I'm not sure I've ever died on that part either before. <laughs> the part I just died on, that is. This part right here. I'm not sure I've ever died on it before. It does not... It's actually, like, legitimately pretty easy, so... Yeah, you just do it like that, right? Shovel... Not Shovel Knight. Treasure Knight. This is probably... Going along with the rest of this, probably one of the knights that I'm... I don't know if this is my worst knight, but it's definitely one of the ones I'm bad at. <laughs> Indeed. Mm. Yeah, that's our guildly true. Let us duel. Winner take all.
Damn it! Every time! But I still win! I didn't, definitely didn't look good doing it, though. I did not catch her. Oh, that's disappointing. <laughs> oh well. Tune in next time, next week, for... Uh, we already battled the Decadent Dandy. I s hmm. I would really call this guy a dandy though. Well, anyway, we'll 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 be taking to the sky, so to speak. Until then, this has been Shovel Knight, and I've been Cast Balloon. Have a great day. Bye.